Hello everybody, I am Shekels and welcome back to Let's Play Me and Smatha Alright So We Are trying to get up here again To here Hmm. <laughs> shouldn't be too much of a problem We have gone up to that area before With relative ease that statue known to me it is. That's fine. Okay. Ah dear. This is tough. It's tough going when you're here trying to figure out where the hell to go. And the only way you can do it is just by continuing to map everything out. It, it, no, it's hard, but I like it because it's different, and I like a challenge. I like to be challenged. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go this way. What a pony, there, man! Going to go down here and around. Yeah, hmm. Right. <laughs> Alright, just... There you go. Now. Ah, we're back on the dirt pot again. I'm kind of surrounded by, uh... Yeah. Mountains. I'm in here, aren't I? I didn't really want to be in the low ground, I wanted to be in high ground. I'm gonna see if I can get back up to high ground. It's not looking too promising here though, is it? That's gonna be a struggle. I think he might just about do it. Wow, he's actually making it. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> oh. Okay, that did not work. Did not work at all. Yeah, see, I need to. Oh my god, we're swimming now. Oh, how can you drown in that? You're practically standing in it. Uh, not my day. Not my day. Uh huh. What I think I can do is I can do something like this. And then do that. Eh. Or not. Ah, dear, oh dear, oh dear. I think we're okay though. We're not in... Oh, fuck. Ah. <sighs> Why does this shit always happen to me? And I can't map shit with you being like this. Okay, there's a camp north of the rooms. So maybe I can do something. Right, there's the camp. At least I'll be able to rest. What time is it? It's only 8 in the morning. Come on, man, you can make it. Okay. <coughs> ah, I recognize this. This is the camp I found when I got lost. Nice. Okay, let's just, let's just rest. Because otherwise, 
<laughs> He's just gonna fucking keel over. Alright. Aha. Uh -huh. I purposely didn't pick them up. For such reasons. Why is not coming over now? I just picked them up. Yeah, Dr. Sanchez. March 18, 1911. Callus spoke again this afternoon, and I'm afraid the proletariate in Telurk has turned completely against our academy. Our members have been largely unaffected by the plague, and Callus has twisted into the evidence of some heretical intellectual conspiracy. We've tried to present research on germ propaga propagation and sterilization to the public, but this is but this is this course that has been overshadowed by Callus's heretic. Pendergraft insists we should continue our research outside Telurik, and I am inclined to agree. Wait, we've done all this. I am pretty sure I found that note before. why it didn't appear. I am certain we've read that before. As they pass the Yeah. Yeah, we've read that before. We've got some very tropical trees over there, I have to say. <coughs> right. <coughs> well, I'm able to map this now, because I've got this at my disposal. Which is right here. And I've got this. The ruins. Alright. Now. So, aha, 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 right, if I can get that statue into my line sight and actually make it a known marker, we are onto something. Add it. Okay. Now, if I go over here, <laughs> so, and if I use this with this, it should do that, and then I can do that. Uh -huh. Alright, now that is going to make things much easier around here. Oh shit, there's a tree! Yeah, I, I do tend to use trees to, <laughs> to stop him from rolling. Oh, there are some really tropical looking trees over there. Wow. It's like going into a whole new biome altogether. Hmm. Uh huh. We'll do. And then use that. There's another camp over there. That. So mark out camp. So anything else? Any other? It's not looking like it right now. So that means if I go over here, crap. And do this. This. We'll do 
there's that. And then I might be able to reveal the camp. Which would be extremely handy. Has it revealed it? Hmm. It's not looking like it. What a shame. Probably not at a different enough angle. Okay, we'll have to do it the old-fashioned way then. It's like being in a whole new fucking island. This side. This is like more the tropical side. It's quite cool, actually. Alright. If I go up here... I can use this and this to map myself out. Mm -hmm. Thirsty? That's no problem, I've got enough water anyway. Now. fuck am I? Okay, I'm here. So we've got this little tent over here. Where the hell is it? Damn it, I've lost it. That's it. Easy. Whoa, ho, ho, whoa. Slow down there for a second. I see an outpost, I think. Definitely see something, anyway. I have nothing to work with. Well, there is supposed to be a landmark up here somewhere. I can fucking find it. There it is. Use that. With a big ass stone head. That should reveal something. Uh -huh. And then if I go to the other side, I should be able to use it again. And more trumpet foam. More trumpet mushrooms. Ah. that and then use that and I can add that as an outpost that is a motherfucking outpost nice If I go around, I might be able to see it better. But I want to get, I want to see if there's anything in that hut first. Before I do that. Before I forget. I don't want to sort of lose my way. If you will. So, if, if we head up, I should be able to get to it. Let me see, we should be able to go up here. Let me see. So go from here to here. Aha! Uh -huh. Is this it? 
It is. Nice. Okay. What do we have here? Okay, new entry. November 21st, 1910. I looked out my bedroom window this morning hearing some commotion from the street below. There were five bodies on the pavement, each neatly wrapped in clean white sheets. They were lined up according to height, tallest to shortest from my left. Two women were tending the bodies, each cloaked from head to toe, with guys' masks and covering their faces. I recognised them immediately as searchers as they wore scarlet bands around their waists, the foreboding emblems of their trade and the warning for lookers on to keep distance. The first woman was young and petite, and I found her very pretty. Her amber hair was pinned back save for a few wisps that fell gently over her ivory white face. She was carefully inspecting the bodies and writing notes in the small leathery bound book. She crouched next to each body and slowly performed her inspections before touching each one tenderly on the shoulder, an act of thoughtfulness and grace befitting a woman of such beauty. The second woman was unpleasant and heavy set. She stood tall with her shoulders cocked back. Her hands were clenched in club like fists and rested pointedly on her hips. She wore a garnished silver chain around her neck adorned with a gold, large gold cross that nestled in the cleave of her chest. She was barking command that the second woman was clearly agitated. At first I imagined her a serb disposition pertains to the macabre nature of her work as one might rightfully expect. The gravity and sadness found in such work I cannot imagine. To the contrary, her annoyance seemed to rest with her general dislike of the more attractive and affordable, sorry, affable woman whose treatment of the departed I viewed with great admiration. I can see that the ugly woman's barking was upsetting the young woman. She seemed to viewed, she seemed to viewed this as an indictment of her ethic, work ethic, clearly misunderstanding the intentions of such a woman whose years had not been kind. Okay, not quite sure how this is intertwining with anything else. Okay, whereabouts am I? I'm here. So I should be able to see something. Ah, oh, come on, I should be able to see something from here. Give me something, man. Just, you know, something to map this out a bit. That'll do, I should... Yeah, that'll do, I'll use that. Don't know how well it's gonna work, though. It's a little bit... Yeah, it'll... Nah, that did sweet fuck all. Um, the only thing I can think of is maybe go around something like that. Go around here, like so, and that way I'll get the outpost marked off as well. It's the only thing I can think of. But we're gonna lose that in the next part. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope that you've enjoyed the video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, and have fun.